Hello comrades, Thomas Harbro here today with Fortify, a tower defense RTS game from Holgerson Entertainment. That's right. This is a brand new game, just came out uh, like two days ago or so. So yeah, yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. Just as a reminder, or at least uh, to let you guys know for all my comrades uh, who continually watch the channel with all the new impressions and whatnot. A forewarning, this is going to be a busy week with lots of brand new impressions videos because there are a lot of strategy games that have come out in the past couple of days. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at Fortify. To give you an idea of all the features this game has and something I want to emphasize real early is that this game is $4.99. It comes with two campaigns, essentially, the Northern and the West, both very long missions, a continue, one long continuous mission, essentially, uh, with, you know, a couple of different difficulties, easy, normal, hard, and impossible, all of which are actually pretty challenging, easy, def I would definitely recommend uh, easy for new players if the first time you've ever played a game like this, um, because you, you'll, you'll get a decent amount of challenge, you won't be like... A, like crazy hard but you'll you'll get a good feel for it you've also got multiplayer crazily enough you can actually play this game in a multiplayer uh, with two castles and two players and so on you've also got an arcade mode which is what I'm gonna show you guys today that's right we're gonna take a look at this basically in arcade mode as it says here you take on waves of enemies. The waves spawn every 45 seconds and are generated randomly. But they grow stronger for every new wave. As the enemies grow stronger and more numerous, you are punished with a penalty making you earn less and less gold from enemy kills. You survive for as long as possible and you compete on the leaderboards. Good luck. So we're going to jump right into the arcade and I'm going to show you how the gameplay works here. Alright, click the begin button when you're ready. So essentially, you spawn with a couple of guys. As we can see here, we got a sling shooter, another sling shooter, we got a swordsman who we're gonna put off in the corner, we got another sling shooter, and another sling shooter. Now, each one of these gentlemen has an arc when they get on a wall that they can fire on. If you select them all, you can see all of their arcs where they can hit, so on. Now, the way the selection system in this game works is the yellow unit, you can only move one unit at a time. And in this case, the yellow unit is gonna be the one you move first, so. Right click, boom, we moved him. Now we have this guy, right click, right click, right click, right click, so on. And then it just uh, restarts itself. So you, that's kind of basically how you set units up on your wall and whatnot. Now, you can buy units, you can buy buildings, you can get upgrades, and you can uh, build additional outposts. Outposts are denoted by these squares like this. This is a lumber mill, this is a quarry, and an iron mine is up here as we can see. Alright, now with that in mind, what we're actually going to do to start out is we're going to get two more axe throwers and one sling shooter. Axe throwers are, uh, they basically have a wider arc and they can do more damage, but they have much shorter range and they're less accurate. So we're going to put them right here, one there, one there, and we're going to put a sling shooter right up here. So if we take a look, this is kind of what we're looking like. Now, not every avenue is covered, but it's good enough to begin with. We can move our troops as the fighting gets more intense, so it shouldn't be too hard. Now, while we're fighting these enemies, let me go ahead and explain something with the buildings. With buildings, they're going to require various resources. In this case, gold, lumber, stone, or iron. Again, you need to build upon those quarries or those lumber mills, or the iron mine in this case, to generate the resources you need to upgrade uh, your buildings and so on. Troops will eventually start requiring resources, like swordsmen here require lumber and 250 gold. So that's something you need to keep in mind. And we need to... We, uh, no, looks like we're good. I think we're good. If this guy shoots, I don't know what he's doing. There he goes. He wasn't shooting for some reason. Uh, he's, yeah, it was probably just right outside of his arc. No big deal. No big deal. All right, we got them set up now. Anyway, so yes, resources. You get resources. You generate gold by just killing units, and you use that gold to buy more dudes and everything else. Everything requires gold. Eventually, you'll you'll progress to the medieval age and then the imperial age. The medieval age, you get archers and crossbowmen, 
and the Imperial Age, you get, like, riflemen, uh, musketmen in a sense. Um, it's kind of interesting, honestly, because this, all the events of, like, the campaign only take place over a couple of days. So the fact that that even happens is kind of funny, really. <laughs> that you can progress to, you know, get these technologies in such a short period of time. But again, it is a tower defense game at heart, and, you know, that's, that's basically just the upgrades. The story is just there for filler, I would imagine. Ready for order. Yes. The voice acting in this game is all done by one person. It is actually pretty well done, if I do say so myself. Like, you can tell it's a very, it's low, low budget and whatnot, of course. Um, but it, there's, there's a certain professionalism carried here, where even though this is a very low budget project, you can tell that uh, the developers in this case cared enough about this to not only try to give it a story, give it a very varying levels of depth, but also try to get like in this case like the voice actor actually a pretty decent voice actor. Um, so you know that's actually something that in this game I should give mad props for. And again, I want to emphasize I spent three hours just on one mission in this game earlier today, and. I only paid five dollars for this game. That is something that gets me ecstatic and makes me very happy. Because a lot of indie games overestimate themselves and overprice themselves because they say, oh, my game has plenty of content, when realistically speaking, it's got an okay amount of content. And we actually lost a sling shooter. This game, on the other hand, actually has a pretty decent amount of content, and it, it it's, it's actually addicting enough that you'll want to replay it over and over to get better or to compete with people as I have. I've basically put in about five hours in this game today alone. <laughs> so I've already, if, if, if we were looking at it for an hour per dollar kind of thing, I've already spent a solid one dollar per hour of entertainment, which as far as I'm concerned is pretty savvy. Like, I mean, that's, that's good. I am perfectly okay with that amount because I'll generally buy a lot more games for a lot more money and not even feel like I got my money's worth for it. So yeah. Now you're not going to see much here, but what I'll do real quick is I'll actually pull up my save from another game just so you can see what it looks like a little bit later on in the game. Alright, so as you can see here, this is about an hour and a half towards the end of the first level and I was playing it on easy yeah that's right <laughs> no shame in my game sir no shame in my game as you can see I've actually hit the Imperial Age I've maxed out the medieval age maxed out the Iron Age and I've gotten quite a couple of the upgrades not all of them probably about half of them really uh, and I've got a quarry well no I don't have a quarry right now but I have an iron mine and a lumber mill looks like the quarry got destroyed in the last wave What's going on right now is basically an in-between battles period where you kind of get a breather, you kind of get to, uh, you know, regain some resources if you spend a lot, um, and like basically regain your lumber and your stone and your iron, and oh my, here come some dragons and assassins from the north. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, so there's actually quite a few enemy types in this game too, that's something else to point out. There's plenty of little dudes just charging in at your little structure it's good stuff good stuff and like I said you can see my riflemen here on the walls shooting with my crossbowmen and my archers you actually get to upgrade your units as the game goes on for example I'm going to upgrade do I have crossbowmen to upgrade? I'll just upgrade this guy he basically just became a grenadier now that he's been upgraded you'll also get a catapult which you can upgrade to a cannon later on and basically what it does is it does this. It's actually a targetable thing that you can fire yourself. Chariots from the south. Oh, goodness gracious. We could probably shoot those chariots. But first, I'm going to lay down some tar fields. That's right. Here we go. See, there's some tar field. This will slow down your opponents. Yeah. Simple stuff, right? It's a simple game, but it's got enough depth and fun, and the enemies are different enough that it's it's a pretty fun game I really like this I do not feel like I wasted five bucks at all <laughs> so that's definitely a hearty recommendation from me as far as it goes but this is the core concept of fortify you actually you know what that's something else I didn't mention you do have melee units like the swordsman I was showing you earlier uh, this case you it gets upgraded to like a duelist 
uh, and eventually a Dragoon, which is a Cavalryman. Uh, I think a better name for it would be a Cuirassier, considering he doesn't have, this guy doesn't have a gun, but whatever, same thing, right? Same thing. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks so much for watching. If you're into tower defense games with a little bit of, you know, real-time strategy elements to it to where you can actually select and move your troops and you defend an area and you'd be interested in playing a game in multiplayer and all that stuff, then Fortify is the game for you. It's $4.99 and I definitely recommend this one because this is such a valuable product for so cheap and it, which actually provides a decent amount of fun. It does. It's pretty addicting, man. It's pretty addicting. But anyway, this has been CB. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.